In order to get account freight ratings, you will need to set up your freight account. Step 1. Configure freight accounts. The absolute first thing you need to do is to go to the shipper's websites and set up an account. If you will be using the best way method, then go to UPS, FedEx, and USPS and create accounts with each of them. The best way system is BirdDog's own method to allow the shippers to compete with one another for you to get the absolute cheapest shipping rate, regardless of the shipping address or zip code. Keep your account numbers handy as you will need those as you set up freight. System Management Freight Freight Accounts You will need to set each of the shippers here. Click the Edit icon next to your shipper. In the Description field, enter the name of the shipping company. The next field is a drop-down list. Choose your shipper from here as well. Enter the account number the shipper gave you when you set up your account. In the Username field, enter the username for this shipper's API. The Shipping API is the application programming interface that allows you to integrate the shipping functionality directly into your website. FedEx calls this a production meter. If the shipper won't rate online, you wouldn't need to include a username or password here, but UPS will rate online, so you need to enter your credentials in these fields. You will want to make sure the testing box is unchecked. Step 2. Configure the ship vias. Go to System Management. Freight Ship Vias Each shipping option your site will offer will need to be listed as a ship via option. Edit each one. Enter the ship via code. Enter the description of the account. This is a type of head field that will show the best matching general ledger accounts according to what you type. Define each shipper and shipping method for the options that will be used. Each combination of freight account shipping method must be assigned to a single ship via code. Otherwise, the system may calculate incorrectly. Step 3. Assign ship vias to the site. You can check to make sure they were set up by going here. The ones you have set up appear in the list. Go to System Management, Site Settings, in your specific URL, and go to the e-commerce tab. Here the ship via codes that you set up appear in this box under ship via codes. You can change the order by selecting one and telling it to go up or down. Step 4. Make sure all your items have the correct weight. This is done during item setup. In order to check that your items have the correct weight, go to Warehouse Management, Items, enter the item number in the search field, click on the Edit icon next to the item number, go to the Logistics tab, under the General tab, enter the weight of the item. And press Save. Step 5. Make sure any items that can be billed at a dimensional weight have dimensions. In order to set this up, go to Warehouse Management. Items, enter the item number, edit item, logistics, 
and freight dimensions. Under the Freight Dimensions tab, click the Add icon to add dimensions. Keep in mind that you are adding the dimensions of the package, not just the item. Pricing exceptions will be covered in a different course. Step 6. Add any other logistics charges. So go to the Required Shipping tab under Logistics and here you would add any other required shipping under this tab. Step 7. Go to System Management, Site Settings, check on your URL and go to e-commerce. Add the ship via codes for non-customer service clients. And step 8, test. Go to customer service, enter orders. Here you can test the items that you just set up to make sure that everything works correctly.